a small business owner and you want to know the best local SEO strategies for your business, this video is going to lay out what those strategies are and why they're important. So what is local SEO and why is it important to a small business? Let me just share a quick story that will paint a very clear picture for you. Let's say there's a gentleman named Jacob and Jacob owns, um, he's an optometrist. He's got a small practice. It's literally just him. Sometimes his wife helps him out in the office, very small business operation. And he's struggling to get new clients. You know, he's, he's a small business owner. He does all of the consultations. He does all of the appointments with patients. He fits them for glasses. He does all that stuff. He does the accounting. He does um, everything. And he's also trying to do the marketing. You know, he's wondering if flyers will work. He's wondering if he should go to the local newspaper and put an ad there. But what he's, he's not fully understanding is that as a small business, he still has the opportunity to show up in Google. People near him are searching for uh, best eye doctor in Portland, eye doctor near me, sunglasses near me, where to buy sunglasses in Portland searching for all of these things that he can help with the main things being you know an optometrist near me an eye doctor near me anything like that and he is not showing up so he's he's a little confused and he goes to google and he's like okay why am i not getting any business he goes to google and he types an eye doctor near me and what he sees at the very top of the google results page is what's known as the google local pack it's a map uh, from google maps and it has three businesses located underneath, three eye doctors. He's currently standing inside of his own office, just like I'm standing inside of our office here at Portland SEO Growth. And he realizes that even though he's standing in his own office and he searched for that on his smartphone, other businesses are showing up. He's not showing up. That is the power of local SEO. Um, that's where people click. That Google Maps results, over 50% of clicks happen there when people are searching locally. So if you're a small business owner in Portland or anywhere in the United States and you have a product or service, and when you go to Google and you type in, you know, whatever that is near me or in Portland or in Beaverton, Oregon, or in Vancouver, Washington, or in Chicago, Illinois, it doesn't matter. And you do not show up in that Google local pack. You're missing out on tons of buyers. It's plain and simple. That's why local SEO is so important for small businesses. So what can you do to rank in that Google local pack? Well, first, the only opportunity that you have to rank in that Google local pack is if you have a Google My Business property. It's a free listing that Google gives. You can go to, I believe it's business.google.com. Free listing, and you can set it up on your own. You can add photos, you can add a name, you can add a description, you can add categories, you can add services, you can add um, a ton of different information. And so what you're going to want to do is set up that Google My Business property in the best way possible. You need to fill out everything in great detail. You need to add tons of images, uh, preferably geotagged images. You need to add um, a descriptive and well thought out description. You have up to 750 characters currently, and you need to fill that out to maximize it. You need to add services. You need to add products. You need to add your proper website so that your Google My Business is connected to your small business's website. Uh, there's tons of other things that you need to optimize within Google My Business. That in itself could be an hour or two hour video to show you how to do all of that stuff. But that's one thing as a local business, as a small business, that you can do to help your local SEO. The second thing is you need to have um, a, a website that is tailored for local SEO. And what does that mean? Well, if you're a chiropractor and you're hoping to rank for, you know, chiropractor near me or best chiropractor in Portland, but your website doesn't say anything about being a chiropractor, then you have zero opportunity to rank. Obviously, if you're a chiropractor, your website's going to say stuff about being a chiropractor, but you get the point. The content on your site is going to determine if you rank or not. There's a lot of other factors that go into it, but that's a big one. So your homepage of your site needs to have SEO friendly keywords, you know, chiropractor in Portland. Uh, if you're looking for the best chiropractor in Portland, Oregon, people are searching for the words best chiropractor in Portland. All of these different things, you need to have it built out. You need to have your URL structures, your title tags, your meta descriptions. Uh, you need to add some local schema on your site. There's tons of different ways to make your site locally friendly. And uh, again, that would be another three, four hour video to walk you through all of the things that you need to do on your website. But just know that for local SEO, for small businesses, there are two main things that you can do. 
There are dozens of additional things that you can do to help, but the two main things are creating and optimizing your Google My Business properly. Then optimizing and configuring your site um, from a local SEO perspective so that it has the best opportunity to rank. And if you're a small business owner and you do those things, then you'll have the opportunity to potentially double, triple, quadruple website traffic, phone calls, and ultimately revenue. We've done it for tons of small businesses, you know, a local medical spa in Portland and, and other businesses like that, that um, they don't know how to do the local SEO. They're a small business and uh, we took it over for them and they doubled, tripled website traffic, phone calls, and sales. So if you have any questions about working with us, uh, you can go to portlandseogrowth.com um, and you can get in touch with us there. Thank you.